So how's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get arms in shape fast. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in an online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more details. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best exercises you can do to train all three heads of your bicep. Actually, there's only two heads, but there's actually another muscle you really want to train to help you get that full development. So the, the muscles that we will be talking about is we're going to talk about our biceps. So you got the short head, which is the inside head, the long head, which is the outer side. And then you also have the brachyradialis, which is just this muscle right here. You guys can see that little ball right here when I do this. That's the brachyradialis. So again, when you're flexing and you see this muscle right here, this is basically the short head of the bicep. And then when you're doing your back double by, the outer part is the long head. So when training the movements, we're gonna be doing a hammer curl to train our brachyradialis. So the hammer curl, when you're performing the movement, all you simply do, you guys, is you get, um, you hold the dumbbell with a neutral grip. You don't want it supinated and you don't want it pronated, you want it neutral. And then all we're going to do is we're going to do the hammer curl. So it's kind of going to be like a dumbbell curl, except for instead of supinating, it's going to be neutral. And then all we do is we simply do this. Really contract at the top, and you're going to see that ball working, and that's the muscle that we want to hit, you guys. By getting this, your biceps are going to look thicker from the side. So when you're walking, you want big biceps, you want your arms to pop from the side, it's gonna train this movement. It's also gonna make the long head a little bit bigger because it's gonna push against it, which can actually make the peak of your bicep a little bit bigger, even though we can't change it um, because of our genetics. But all we can do is make it bigger or smaller. So the next movement we're going to do, you guys, is going to be drag curls. Drag curls train the long head of the tricep and, uh, or sorry, the, the, the long head or the outer part. And when doing drag curls, you want to have the dumbbells to the side. And when performing them, we're gonna have them come up and drag against our body. That's why we call it a drag curl, you guys. So when performing this movement, keep the dumbbells running across your body the whole time. This is an amazing movement and I love performing this, you guys. A good, good movement. The last exercise I will show you guys is going to be a preacher curl. Now when performing the movement, you can use any type of bench and you can play around with the angles a little bit, but all you're gonna do is you're gonna stick your arm on the bench like so, and all you're gonna do is curl up. It's as simple as that, you guys. So I know people always ask me what type of angle to do it on the bench. Most people ha have machines or um, preacher curl uh, stations at their gym that they can use. So you can do that, but a quick way to do if you don't have access to the station is to simply just use an inclined bench press and fool around with the heights. Different angles will hit your bicep in a different way. So there's no right or wrong way to do the preacher curl, you guys. Generally, I like it to have it at about a 45 degree angle or so. That really allows me to put a lot of emphasis into the short head of the bicep you guys so end of video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like the video and share it thanks again everyone